Come on. Let's get back to the scriptures. If, um, read from where you left off at. If, if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator mm -hmm. or covetous or an idolater mm -hmm. or a railer or a drunkard Come on. or an extortioner with such a one, no, not to eat. Mm -hmm. For what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Mm -hmm. Do not ye judge them that are within? So we're within the body. We can't judge each other. We should be able to judge matters amongst ourselves. This should not be going on in this congregation. We should be able to judge matters, these small matters. We're going to judge the world when Christ comes back based on the commandments. So if we can't judge this little body right here. How are we going to judge the whole world? How are we going to judge China, Japan, Russia, and all of the heathens? But we can't get right. Get me Jeremiah 13, verse 26 to 27. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 26. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 26. Come on. Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face. Mm -hmm. So the most high is not playing with us. Do not hide your sins in this congregation the most high said he's going to do what i will therefore will i discover thy skirts upon thy face mm -hmm. and thy shame that thy shame may appear mm -hmm. i have seen thy adulteries mm -hmm. and thy names and loot the lewdness of thy whoredom Mm -hmm. and thine abominations on the hills in the fields mm -hmm. woe unto thee o jerusalem woe unto thee o jerusalem remember what i said jerusalem is a people before it's a place give me first samuel the second chapter and verse 12 what chapter again captain first samuel 2 verse 12 book of first samuel chapter 2 and verse 12 now the sons of Eli were sons of Balaam. They knew not the Lord. And the priest's custom with the people was mm. that when any man offered sacrifice. So Eli's sons were of the devil. Okay. And these were priests in the congregation. These were people that sat up on the table, on the leadership table. Come on. The priest's servant came mm -hmm. while the flesh was in seething mm -hmm. with a flesh hook of three teeth in his hand. Mm -hmm. And he struck it into the pan mm -hmm. or kettle or cauldron or pot. Mm -hmm. All that the flesh hook brought up, mm -hmm. the priest took for himself. Mm -hmm. So they did in Shiloh unto the, all the Israelites mm -hmm. that came thither. Come on. Also, before they burnt the fat. The priest's servant came and said to so the... So they, they were taking food out for themselves. Come on. And said to the man that sacrificed, Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will not have sodden flesh of thee, but raw. Mm. Come on. And if any man said unto him, Let them not fail to burn the fat presently, uh -huh. and then take as much as thy soul desireth, then he would answer him, Nay, but thou shalt give it me now. Uh -huh. And if not, I will take it by force. So these were some wicked leaders in Israel. Come on. 17. Wherefore, the sin of the young men was very great before the Lord. Mm -hmm. For men abhorred the offering of the Lord. Keep reading. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, being a child. So the men didn't even want to go up to the temple. They abhorred the offering of the Lord. Why? Because the leadership was out of order. That's why it's important that the leadership should be in order and examples to the congregation. Because in some congregations, you have people leaving. People leaving the body to go somewhere to another state, congregate somewhere else, because guess what? Leadership was not in order. Come on, read. Girded with a linen ephod. Mm -hmm. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year. Mm -hmm. When she came up with her husband mm -hmm. to offer the yearly sacrifice... And Eli blessed Elkanah mm -hmm. and his wife and said, The Lord give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they went unto their own home. Come on. And the Lord visited Han Hannah, 
so that he that so that she conceived mm -hmm. and bare three sons and two daughters and the child Samuel grew before the Lord come on now Eli was very old this was the father of those wicked Israelites come on and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel mm -hmm. and how they lay with the two women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle so of the, the priest was laying with the sisters in the congregation and not marrying them, turning them into whores. And you have the same thing that's going on in Israel today. Is that it on that verse? Read that part again. And how they lay. And how they lay with the woman that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Read on. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. why do ye such things? Mm -hmm. For I hear of your evil dealings mm -hmm. by all this people. Come on. Nay, my sons, uh -huh. for it is no good report. It that is not good report. Come on. That I hear uh -huh. ye make the Lord's people to transgress. So we're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to put a stumbling block before our people. We're not supposed to put our bring our people into sin. Like I said before, we have to be examples to one another in this body. All right? We have to be examples to one another. Get me uh, Sirach. I mean, I'm sorry, not Sirach. Get me 2 Timothy's chapter 3 and verse 6. Second Timothy's 3 verse 6. 2 Timothy chapter 3. And verse six, mm -hmm. for of this sort are they which creep into houses. Mm -hmm. This was just like the sons of Eli creeping into houses, creeping into houses. Come on. And lead captive silly women, silly woman, silly woman, silly woman. Come on. Laden with sins. Laden with sins. Meaning that iniquity was already inside of you. That lust demon was already inside of you. Now. Brother so-and-so was the one to bring it out of you. Now he got you in the backseat of his Jeep. Let's swing an episode like it's LL Cool J or something. But he won't marry you. Don't you see something wrong with that? Read that part again about silly women. For And led captive silly women laden mm. with sins. Come on. Led away with diverse lust. Led away with diverse lust. Come on. Ever learning. Ever learning, come on. And never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And we don't want to fit that description. We do not want to fit that description. Okay? We don't want to fit that description. Get me um, Sirach. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1 and verse 30. The book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter mm -hmm. 1 and verse 30. Mm -hmm. Exalt not thyself. Mm -hmm. Lest thou fall and bring dishonor upon the upon thy soul. Come on. And so God discover thy secrets. And it's a shame when you get caught up in these sins. Next thing you know, you brought forth before the congregation. Now you got to confess it to the congregation and get put out. But when you was in your folly, you had your chin up in the air. But now you come to the front, and you got your chin down. It's embarrassing. Why go through that? Why put yourself through that? Come on. And so God discovered thy secrets mm -hmm. and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation and cast you down in the midst of the congregation. Read on because thou camest not in truth uh -huh. to the fear of the Lord. We're supposed to walk in the fear of the Lord. All of these high holy days that we come across, we're supposed to walk in the fear of the Lord. Remember, so comm we're commemorating us coming up out of Egypt. The destroyer, the death angel, the putting on the blood on the doorposts. We're supposed to comm commemorate this thing with no leaven, but many of us still have leaven within us that we don't want to get rid of. It's one thing if you're trying, but some brothers and sisters ain't trying at all. You're not even trying to get rid of the leaven. Come on. But thy heart is full of deceit. But your heart is full of deceit because you will lie and lie and lie. Even if you have three or four or five witnesses before you, you'll lie and lie and lie. Even if there's text messages as proof, you'll lie and lie and lie. Even if the person you slept with who's no longer here would say that he slept with you, you'll still lie. That is a wicked and mischievous soul.
That is a wicked and mischievous soul. And we got to get rid of that. Come on, read. Is that the whole verse? Verse 30? Yes, sir. Give me Sirach 23, 16 to 19. Sirach chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feared the eyes of men. Oh, there goes your back page, brothers. There goes your Craigslist. There goes your plenty of fish. There goes your brothers, your adulterous brothers and or sisters. Come on. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. And the angels are watching, reporting everything. And there's always a little birdie that's going to come back and tell. So why do it? Why bring the embarrassment to yourself? Why? To fulfill the lust of the flesh, but for a season, and then come up and get embarrassed? Why? Read. Beholding all the ways of men. So the angels are beholding all the ways of men. Come on. And considering the most secret parts. And considering the most secret, secret, secret parts. Come on. He knew all things ere ever they were created. Come on. So also after they were per per perfected, mm -hmm. he looked upon them all. Come on. This man shall be punished in the streets. That's the talking about the adulterer. Come on. Of the city. Come on. And where he su suspected not, mm -hmm. he shall be taken. Uh -huh. Thus shall it go also with the wife mm -hmm. that leaveth her husband. Come on. And bringeth in an heir by another. Just in case that's in the, the minds of some of you sisters. That adulterous mindset. What is the most high telling us? Read it again. Thus shall it go also with the wife mm -hmm. that leaveth her husband Come on. and bringeth in an hair by another. Come on. For first she hath disobeyed the law of the Most High. Uh huh. And secondly, she hath trespassed against her own husband. Come on. And thirdly, she hath played the whore. Played the whore. We are not called into this to be a whore. This is not a whorehouse. This is a holy house and will continue to be so. Until Christ comes back. And I hope you understand that. Is that verse 19? It's not, not finished. Keep going. She hath played the whore in adultery mm -hmm. and brought children by another man. Come on. She shall be brought out into the congregation mm -hmm. and inquisition shall be made of her children. Mm -hmm. Her children shall not take root. Her branches shall bring forth no fruit. She shall leave her memory to be cursed. And her reproach shall not be blotted out. Okay. All right. That's it on that. Give me Leviticus 5 verse 1. Because we know a lot of times, brothers and sisters, they might see certain things or hear certain things. First person, actually. And they're afraid to speak on it. However, it's a commandment from God that we're supposed to speak up and correct one another. Judge within. So one day we'll be able to judge those that are without. Come on. Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it and if a soul sin. If a soul sin. And hear the voice of swearing. Uh-huh. And is a witness. Come on. Whether he had seen or known of it. Mm -hmm. If he do not utter it, mm -hmm. then he shall bear his iniquity. So the same judgment that falls on the adulterer, guess who's who who's who is it gonna fall on? Huh? The witness for not talking, for not talking, for keeping it a secret so your friend could continue in his or her folly. Come on. Or if a soul touch any unclean thing. Is this verse two? Verse two. All right. All I want is verse one. Get me Joshua 7 and 11. So we're supposed to, if we see something, sisters, speak up. If you hear something, speak up. Stop with the BS. Talk about it. Brothers, you too. If you hear something, you see something, speak up. Stop playing games in the Most High's house. Joshua 7 and 11. Joshua chapter 7, verse 11. Come on. Israel hath sinned, and they have also, and they have also transgressed my covenant, mm -hmm. which I commanded them. Mm -hmm. For they have even taken of the accursed thing. And have also stolen and dissembled also. So and somebody tell me the history of this right here. What's going on in this particular chapter, Brother Avio? Uh, 
Um, we had went to war at this time, and um, the Most High told us not to take anything of the land, and some of the brothers, um, some some people people did, and then we um, started started getting killed. Who was some of the brothers? Um, I, I'm not sure. I just okay. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. So we went to war with the Canaanites. All right, and some of the brothers became very covetous, and there's different levels of covetous. You have covetousness for things that are tangible that you can touch like a phone, jewelry, so forth. Then you have those who are covetous for people's wives or people's husbands, okay? Come on, Joshua 7 and 11. Israel have sinned and they have also transgressed my covenant mm -hmm. which I commanded them. Mm -hmm. For they have even taken of the accursed thing mm -hmm. and have also stolen and dissembled also. And they have put it even amongst their own stuff. Come on. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, mm -hmm. but turn their backs before the before their enemies because they were accursed. So the Most High was jacking Israel up. The Most High was jacking Israel up, causing people to die, causing people to become sick. Why? Because there was sin in the body and nobody wanted to speak on it. They wanted to keep it a secret. Come on. Neither. Neither will I be with you anymore, mm -hmm. except ye destroy the curse from amongst you. A uh, cursed thing from among you. Read it the way it's written. I will be with you anymore, except ye destroy the cursed thing from amongst you. Mm -hmm. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel. There is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Mm -hmm. Thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. Mm -hmm. In the morning, therefore, ye shall be brought according to your tribes. So this is the importance of not bringing sin into the body or hiding sin in the body, brothers and sisters, because not only are you going to bring harm to yourself, but those around you. So when you do that, that shows that you don't love the body. If you're not confessing and trying to stop, I'm talking for the brothers and sisters that want to continue in that and will do it secretly. Okay, get me. Um, so Joshua called them out. He called everybody out according to their household. Uh, where's the part with Aiken? Aiken, get me uh, verse 18. Skip down to jump. Verse 18. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. And he brought his household man by man. Come on. And Achan, the son of Carmi. Come on. The son of Zabadi, mm -hmm. the son of Zerah, mm -hmm. of the tribe of Judah, was taken. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession. And make what? Confession. Make what? Confession. Come on. Unto him, mm -hmm. and tell me now. What thou hast done, mm. hide it not from me. I shouldn't hear, oh, I'm grown. I don't want to sit down, and I don't have to sit down and, and speak to you. These are the things that we're hearing. You, you're right. You are grown. You don't have to sit down and speak to me, but you're not going to enter through these doors. You're not entering through these doors. You could stay your butt home and watch online for the rest of your life until the missiles come. Come on. And they can answer Joshua and said, indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. Come on. And thus and thus have I done. Uh -huh. When I saw among the spoils of goodly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver uh -huh. and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, mm -hmm. then I coveted them and took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent. And the silver under it. Keep reading. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent. And behold, it was hid in his tent, mm -hmm. and the silver under it. Mm -hmm. And they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought them unto Joshua. Come on. And unto all the children of Israel, uh -huh. and laid them out before the Lord. Come on. And Joshua and all Israel with him took a can, the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons. And his what? And his sons. Why did they take his sons? Come on, speak up, speak louder, just call it out. Because they knew about it, and they were trying to hide it. Instead of applying Leviticus 5 and 1, 
Okay, come on. And his daughters. Uh huh. And his oxen. Even the animals. Come on. And his asses. Uh huh. And his sheep. Uh huh. And his tent. Come on. And all that he had. Mm -hmm. And they brought them unto the valley of Accor. Mm -hmm. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. Come on. And all Israel stoned him with stones uh -huh. and burned them with fire. After they had stoned them with stones. Read on. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. So my question to you again is how come the Most High didn't jack up the person who did it and his family? Why did he touch everybody else? Officers, one of the officers. Because we're supposed to know the state of the flock. We're supposed to know the state of the flock, and we're supposed to, we're not supposed to hide sin. So the Most High said, "You know what? Nah, you guys, you stand over there. Although you did it, I'ma jack everybody else up. I'ma make everybody else sick. I'ma make everybody else drop dead. Then once that happened, I'ma kill you. So with that, that's why we have to be mindful. What's going on in the body? Why are people every week somebody's in the hospital on the?" brink of death and then you we, we hear about people hiding fornication and adultery in the body now you know why people are getting sick because the most high is not going to be with us we must fix that as of today that has to get fixed all right we have no room for error absolutely no room for error all right get me um 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. For we are laborers together with God. So we're all laboring, brothers and sisters, to enter into the kingdom. All right? To push this truth to the four corners of the earth, wake up the diaspora of our people, and get our people to repent. We're all laboring together. Come on. Ye are God's husbandry. Mm -hmm. Ye are God's building. So we're building the temple of God which is going to be established on earth. But the temple begins first within us. Come on. According to the grace of God, which mm -hmm. is given unto me as, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. So our bishops and deacons, first and, first and foremost, Jesus the Christ first, then the bishops and deacons that are ordained in this present captivity to show us the true understanding of the Bible, they are the master builders. We're supposed to pattern ourselves after them, after their good works, if they apply the commandments, which they are. Come on, read. Master builder, I have laid the foundation, uh -huh. and, another, and another buildeth thereon. Mm -hmm. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. So you got to take heed, brothers and sisters, how you're building. How are you walking in this walk? You got to take heed to that. Come on. For another foundation can no man lay. Mm-hmm. Then that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Come on. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, mm -hmm. silver, precious stones, mm -hmm. wood, hay, stubble, mm -hmm. every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it. For the day shall declare it because all of us were going to run into trials and tribulations. And then we're going to know, have you been building on gold, silver, wood or stubble? Come on. For the day shall declare it uh -huh. because it shall be revealed by fire. In the ultimate days when them nuclear missiles come, will you be delivered out of Babylon? Have you been keeping the commandments or have you been faking the funk? Come on. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Mm -hmm. Come if on. any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, mm -hmm. he shall receive a, re a reward. And we all want the reward, and the reward, the reward being the kingdom, not eternal damnation. We all want eternal life. That's what we're here for. We all want eternal life. Come on. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss. Come on. But if he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Come on, read on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. There it goes again. 
Know you not that ye are the temple of God? You brothers in here, you sisters, children, come on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? And I hope you believe that, that the spirit of God dwelleth in you, if you keep the commandments. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God, there should be no more defiling of the temple. No more whoredom, adultery, fornication. Because I see that's the spirit that's plaguing Dallas. Okay. Come on. Him shall God destroy. So if you want to continue there and God said he's going to destroy you, whether he gets you now or later, you will be destroyed. Whether it's syphilis, herpes, blue waffle, whatever, the AIDS, even if you get away, disease free, and you happen to live nice life, die nice and old, when Christ comes back, there will be eternal damnation. You're not escaping the judgment. Come on. For the temple of God is holy. Uh-huh. Which the temple, which temple ye are. Which temple ye are. What verse is that? Verse 17. All right, read verse 17. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple, temple of God, come on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. Come on. For the temple of God is holy. Uh-huh. Which temple ye are. A holy house, not a whorehouse. A holy house, not a whorehouse. Come on. Let no man deceive himself. Don't deceive yourself, brothers and sisters. Walking in deceit. Don't deceive yourself because you're only deceiving yourself. You're only lying to yourself. Come on. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, uh -huh. let him become a fool that he may be wise. Let you become a fool. Leave all the garbage that you learned in the world so you could relearn how to keep the commandments the right way. Because all the wisdom because the wisdom of the world is foolish with God. Okay? Get me 2 Timothy 2 and verse 20. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. But in a great house. In a great house which we're building, brothers, sisters, come on. They are not only vessels of gold mm -hmm. and of silver. And we're trying to be the vessels of gold. And we understand that gold may have some impurities, like I said before. And we got to purge that thing out. Come on. There are not only vessels of gold and of silver. Come on. But also of wood mm -hmm. and of earth mm -hmm. and some to honor and some to dishonor. What are the vessels to honor, brothers? The gold and silver. What are the vessels to dishonor? Wood and earth. The wood. And wood gets burnt up with fire. Okay. We don't want to be that wood. We do not want to be that wood. We want to be that gold. We want to be that silver, those vessels in the house of the Most High. Come on. If a man therefore therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. We want to be a vessel unto honor. So let go of the fornication, the adultery, brothers. If you're battling that, get married. Prove a sister. Come before us. Ask about a particular sister. We'll tell you her report. All right? We'll tell you their, their report. Vice versa. Sisters, no backseat of my Jeep. Let's swing an episode, please. I don't want to hear that no more. I don't want to hear nothing going on. Nobody's Yukon, Tahoe. Well, I don't care what he's driving. Stop the whorish acts. Stop it. If you want to prove a brother, come to us. We'll tell you if the, brother's, if the brother has good rapport or not. You and him could get married and y'all could do whatever the hell y'all want in the bedroom. Just do it the right way. Don't turn this into a whorehouse. Read. If any man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, mm -hmm. sanctified, and meet for the master's use, mm -hmm. and prepare unto every good work. We want to be meet for the master's use, and that master is God first and his son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Come on, read. Flee also youthful lust. Flee youthful lust. Flee youthful lust. Come on. But follow righteousness. And follow righteousness. Come on. Faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. And we're supposed to call on the Lord with a pure heart. Is that verse 22? Yes, sir. That's all of it? Yes, sir. Last scripture, Ephesians 2, 19 to 22. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers or for and foreigners. Because before this truth, we were strangers to the gospel. We were foreigners to the gospel. We were foreigners because we were walking in idolatry, adultery, all manners of sins. We were worshiping the white man as Jesus the Christ. 
We didn't know we were Israelites. We was doing whatever the hell we wanted. But fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Is that verse 19? Yes, sir. Read it again. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, uh -huh. but fellow citizens with the saints. But when you repent, your fellow citizens, come on. With the saints. With the saints, come on. And of the household of God. Because we are the saints in the household of God. Read on. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. So that's what we're building on. The foundation of our forefathers, the apostles, the prophets, the deacons, the bishops, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and his testimonies. Come on. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. And Christ so, is the chief cornerstone. Come on. In whom all the building fitly framed together. And we're building a temple that is supposed to be fitly framed together. Just like the temple during King Solomon's time. King Solomon's temple needed no screws, no nails. Everything was fitted together like a puzzle. That's what we're trying to do in here. So we have to walk accordingly to the scriptures. Is that verse 22? That was verse 21, and it's not finished. Come on. Groweth unto an holy temple. You hear that? Holy temple. Holy temple. Holy house. Come on. Groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, mm -hmm. in whom you also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. So that's what we're trying to achieve, brothers and sisters. All right? So I, I pray that you, brothers and sisters, meditate on this word. And just know that every single one of you will be in watched, including myself. Do not play games, all right? Let's do our best to keep these commandments and walk accordingly, according to the Bible, all right? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org